Exactly. Social media is a wonderful way to follow builds. All these builders are posting pictures on Facebook, Instagram. Sometimes you get lucky enough to be in the same state and sometimes the same city as the builders. This is James Otto's truck for Pete's sake. This is Grant Salter from Triworks Hot Rods. And let's go to talk about the truck. This thing looks outstanding, dude. Thank you. It was it was a labor of love. We had three weeks, me and my partners, Jacob Edens, yeah. Ben Giuliano. Yeah. We put in 960 hours and three weeks to get this truck to SEMA. Dude, so. that's unbelievable. Well, congratulations Thank on not you. only getting to SEMA, because let's face it, this is the Mecca, but also tell me about and tell the people watching about the Hot Rod Award. This morning when I got up, I was just perusing through Facebook and I you know, follow Hot Rod Magazine like everybody else, and then I see they pick the, the top 35 Chevy vehicles, Hot Rods, at SEMA. Yeah. And there's for Pete's sake. Unbelievable. Yeah? I was like, wow, that's awesome. Dude, that is awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. And what a way to kick off your shop, man. Yeah. I mean, you guys have vast experience. The collective knowledge and skills yep. from your team is, uh, is incredible. Uh, backgrounds with Greening Auto Company and other significant shops. Johnson's Hot Rod Shop. Yeah. Uh, Coker. So, yeah, yeah, very deep background in yeah. custom hot rods and builds and mm -hmm. a lot of awards under our belts and big yeah. ones. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. We're, we're not newbies. We're a new shop, but we're not newbies through the game, that's yeah. for sure. Let's talk about the truck, the okay. color. This is, you know, you were talking about it before. People are thinking it's a wrap because the paint job is so perfect. So props to your painter Thanks. for the skill set, but it's an Eastwood color, right? right? New color that Eastwood's working on. They don't have it out yet, so it's a custom mix for us. It's uh, Pete Sake Pearl, yeah. and named obviously after the truck. And so, yeah, it was Jacob Edens, who one of the main painters at Greening is with us now. and. Him and Ben both sprayed the truck, and it's a flat clear. And then the the accent color, the gray underneath, is also an Eastwood color with a flat clear on that. Yeah, the meteor gray metallic. Yeah, meteor right? gray metallic. Yeah, and yep. what a nice accent to this, and it matches perfectly with the forge yes. line wheels. Yep. Yeah. Uh, talk about the suspension, the drivetrain. So uh, it's a John Bouchard built motor. It's a six liter motor. Holly was a big sponsor, so it's got one of the mid rise Holly intakes, Holly throttle body. We use the Holley ECU. It's a um, drive-by-wire throttle body. Um, it's pushing, or I think John told me it's around 550 horsepower. Yeah. T56 bowler built transmission. Yeah. And Rytec suspension, so you got a four link in the rear, nine inch rear end. It is a truck, as James calls it. Yeah. This is Grandpa's truck that went from hauling hay to he's saying hauling ass is what uh -huh. he's saying with this. So <laughs> yep. Yep. It's, it's going to be a fun truck for him. Yeah. Well, there's some cool styling cues. I love the pro touring spin on the trucks are coming up huge, yeah. and not only custom car acceptance as as a platform, but also the pro touring world, the autocross world. Yeah. People are. They're cracking the nut and making these things handle. So the ride tech suspension ties in, the giant rear footprint ties in, the balance of everything. It's 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 a very potent combination, right? Yeah, it's going to be a fantastic truck for James to drive. Yeah. James wanted an autocross truck, and if you know James, if you've ever met him, yeah. the guy's huge. He's yeah. six foot four, and to get this truck, TMI did a great job getting the seats back for him. The yeah. suspension's going to be great. It's going to be a great truck for yeah. him to ride. I mean, the performance is there. Let's face it, the early 60s and mid 60s trucks, there's not a lot of opening on the grill to get air in. You got to keep these things cool. Autocross is no joke. It, you heat soak a vehicle very quickly. So Eastwood's tri-flow radiator is in here. Talk about that. You did some tweaks to it. James wanted to do something really cool with it, so what we did is we welded on some AN bungs and we ran AN fittings to give it that, yeah. you know, that race car look, that pro touring look, yeah. and uh, so far it's worked good. We ran the truck. We haven't driven the truck much. Literally, like I said, we finished it on Thursday last week. I think it was. Got loaded up on a trailer and driven here. So unreal. We'll we'll figure it. We'll find out. Yeah. We'll find well, out I looked underneath so. the bottom. Nothing's leaking. Nothing's so you guys leaking. mission yeah. accomplished, so, right? No fluids. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I look under everybody's car to see if they're leaking fluids, and yeah. we're dry, so yeah. we're happy. I like the fact that James is such a talented artist in his own right. His career speaks for itself in the music world, yeah. but he's like us. He's a gearhead. He no. wants to flat foot that sucker and lose traction yeah. and have fun with it. Yeah. So it's really neat to have somebody like that appreciate. The cool thing about James is he understands the work that goes into these trucks, yes. and he understands you know what it takes to get them to this point, yeah. which it was a lot of work, and yep. you know, we're happy to have it here. Absolutely. Really While we're sitting here at the TMI booth, we've got all kinds of eye candy. We've got a TMI interior in this thing. Let's talk about that. The big thing if you're at the TMI booth is obviously it's full of trucks, Chevy trucks. Yes. And so this year, they're, they've put a heavy focus on seats, new line of door panels for all these trucks, and mm -hmm. that's what we have in here. And you know the fit, the finish, the quality on this stuff is really remarkable. Absolutely. If you don't have the money to go out and buy custom stitched seats, I mean, you are hard pressed to find anything better 
at oh. this show than the seats that you can get from TMI. Absolutely. And I'm a big fan. I've had them in two of my custom vehicles. And, uh, you know, I'll keep on doing it because TMI rocks. But yeah. let's go back to style and paint. Painted bumpers, painted wheels, door handles are painted. I see a little bit of brushed, but it's a very subtle theme. I think it's very classy. What's your philosophy on something like this? Well, when we, when we took the truck from James, someone that started it and that person just, they couldn't get it done for SEMA. And there were some things that, cues on it that we wanted to change. The door had a few colors, too many, and we felt it had too many colors. So right. we wanted to change it. James had a, a brushed chrome door handle and I was like, James, we gotta change it. Yeah. We have too many, we have brushed aluminum, we have the blue, you've got brushed chrome. You've got chrome on the trim. I was like, let's get it, let's narrow it down to three colors on the door. We have the, uh, we have the Eastwood paint, we have the brush trim, we have the blue. And, and it, to us, it worked out. It also allows you, as TriWorks Hot Rods, to put your stamp on something. Yeah. Something that you didn't, the concept wasn't yours, but you picked it up and right. you ran with it, and right. well done. Well, I yeah. can't wait to catch up with you guys back in Tennessee and keep up with what you're building. And again, awesome job on, for Pete's sake, and bringing this truck out to here. You made it. Thank you, man. This is Grant Salter, TriWorks Hot Rods, SEMA, TMI. For Pete's sake, what a mix. Awesome.